evening. Welcome back to some dancing. I just have to adjust me so I'm in a good spot, and then we should be good. There we go. Hey! The stream is beginning. You haven't missed anything. If you're here, and you're just joining now, you've missed nothing. You can rejoice. This is a, this is a good time for you to be joining, that is. Enough of that. So, we can begin. Oh! Press the wrong button immediately. Looking for game to capture. Don't worry. We'll capture it soon enough. Oh, no, it's just black. Oh, looking? Come on. You can hear it. There, okay. Well, now we're back into this. So, you've missed nothing. I forget where we were last. Uh, I'm just going against Android. Okay, wait, whoa, whoa. Strong style? Let's see. First wrestler to score pin submission will win the contest. Okay. Doesn't... Oh, my skill is so much higher. Her strength is much higher than mine. Huh, I wonder. Oh my god. Ollie Martins is dead. It's back to Dan Beaver. I wonder what's gonna happen if I do this. Will it work? Can I rename myself back? Oh, on my old gimmick again! Yeah, damn fever is back! Hell yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna get Stam, it's gonna be my next thing. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I don't want to kill myself. Though this is strong side, so I read the stipulations, it didn't say I can get knocked out, so I should be okay. Yeah, Dan Fever is back. Android, damn you. Hey, look out everyone, it's Dan Fever, the master of the Canadian Destroyer. That's right, I'm Canadian. You seriously think that a pathetic move like that would work against a warrior like me? Oh, frick. Huh, you should be worried because when I hit the Canadian Destroyer, this match is over. Huh, this match will be over when I hit you with my stunner. Your entire career will be over. Huh. Yeah. Eh, damn you, Android. Yeah. Stop beating me up with your... Pummeling hands. Yeah, get beat up by me. Okay. No. There's <laughs> two punches to the face. Here we go. Don't worry. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Use your head. Hey. Yep, yeah, you're gonna have to come in eventually after I keep kicking you. Huh? Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna kick you. Zit. What? She just punched me out of it? That was kind of preposterous. Preposterous. Oh, she's pummeling me. Hit. She's so powerful. I just have to keep throwing her around in hopes that I can weaken her. She's much more powerful than I am. So doing moves like that is like the only way I'm gonna be able to do this. Ooh, hell yeah, adrenaline. 
I gotta keep this up or else I'll lose it. I need to get her in here and hit her with the Canadian Destroyer. It'll be very, very poetic. Poetic. It will be. Yeah, I'm gonna move my mic closer. Oh, I lost all my adrenaline now? Oh! Come on. Oh, bust out. Eh. <laughs> this is a this is a pretty close match, actually. Okay. Oh. Can I roll out? Come on, come here. I saw something over here I want. Oh. This will work. Bah. Ah. Give me that back. Ooh, okay. I gotta get up. Don't sleep, please. Please don't sleep. Just get up. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Get in the ring. Oh! You stay down now, lady. Okay. Tap or I break your leg. Versus. Whew. Here we go. Here we go. Lock it in. Tap. Tap. You tap now and I win, please. There's no escape for you other than death. Or I just let you go, because I feel like it, I guess. Ooh! Quick stunner. Ooh, double stunner. Can I go for another stunner? Nah, let's just pin. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. This out of the blue, eh? Hmm. Yeah, I'm the winner. That's what you get for making fun of the Canadian Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little punch the face. <laughs> All right, Android point files suffered considerably. Good. Five ten, I pinned them. Beaver progress hindered by the strong style. My attitude went down. Interesting. I gained strength. Super Lucha Libre is the where place to be, eh? Hey, Dan Fever, I popped for that counter you didn't do a headlock takedown. Yeah, that was a good one. I will teach you skill. I am Tuxedo Man. Thanks for sharing your knowledge, Dan. I hope you can return the favor sometime. Ah, oh, thank you. Fourth week of May. So back in action. Calvin Steam has recovered from the injury and looks forward to getting back into the ring. Oh, here we go. Mr. Benjamins has defeated Ned Hart to become the new television champion of Maple Leaf Grappling. Alan Gate has been released by Super Lucha Libre and must now make ends meet on the independent circuit. Silk Sirens defeated Hattie Harley to become the new Intercontinental Champion of Federation Online. Comic Connie has defeated Win Stevens to become the new Women's Champion of Federation Online. All American Wrestling has sunk below Wrestling Revolution to become the least popular brand of wrestling at 79. Wow. Wrestling Revolution. Revolutionizing how it, how it is to be at rock bottom. Listen, Dan Fever, I've been keeping an eye on your progress. I think some changes need to be made. Oh, hey, nice. You're using my name, Dan Fever. 
Five matches without losing is quite a streak, but you're making everybody else look bad. Ugh, I'm too good. Suffering from success. Put someone over by the fourth week of June to prove that you care about this business. All right, so I need to put one person over. Jerry Buckler. First rest of score pin, da da da, weapons. He's a heal though. Okay, well, I've gained one stamina. <laughs> if this guy gets put over, yeah, he gets put over. Welcome to the press conference as we look ahead to Dan Fever versus Jerry Buckler. I don't know why she sounds like that, but that's the case. Dan Fever, could you start off with what you intend to cope with Jack Jerry Buckler? How do I plan on coping, you say? Well, Jerry Buckler doesn't have the right attitude for this business, but I'll teach him a lesson. Eh? On how to put someone over by letting him beat me. Jerry Buckler. You heard what Dan Fever just said. How do you respond to that? Dan Fever may be on a lucky streak, but I'll have what it takes to end it. Maybe I will. I'll put him over. We could talk about this all day, but the only thing left now is to see the show. Who's Dan Fever as a wrestler in real life? I wonder. Woo! Someone can have my microphone. All right. Oh, the same music? Oh, he has a... He, Jerry Buckler must be Double J. He has a guitar. I'm gonna read this book. Oh, what? He can actually play a song? Wipe that smile off your face, Dan Fever, and tell me why you're in such high spirits. I'm just reading. Everybody knows that you raised me backstage trying to gain an unfair advantage over me. That's true, I am. Always. 100% of the time to 100% of people. Don't try to bring me down just because I know how I look after myself and you don't, Jerry Buckler. Oh, damn. Hey, John Cena's on the front of this. If you think I'm amped up now, wait until you see who floats out here after this match. I didn't know that. Oh, clothesline right off the bat. Rope break, please. Okay. Can I use this weapon? Ooh. I just kind of like threw him there. Oh wow, this is a... Uh... Hey guy, stop playing that guitar for a second. One's enough. Ooh, I don't even know what's happening here. <laughs> A lot of, lot of, uh, holds. This guy's just straight up playing a guitar. Okay. Oof. He just punched me in the face. No matter. Oh, don't play the guitar too good. Oh. Eh. Jesus, Jerry Buckler, you're messing me up. Come on, punch him. Oh, wow, okay, I let him over, so I, uh, that was intentional. Now break him after I just lost. Okay, Jerry Buckler progress is being hindered, so he made me submit in a minute 42, wow. Whoa, I suffer considerably from that? That's not good. But I let him over, so is that proof? 
I would say so, right? We're losing a match. Oh, it was a pay-per-view too, so that makes sense. Come on. King David has defeated Boomtown to become the new world champion of Wrestling Revolution. Some Sarah's recovered from her injury and looks forward to getting back in the ring. Oh! Welcome back, after I severely injured her. Willie Pierce has recovered from his injury and looked forward to getting back. Oh, nice. Did I injure him? Hmm. And now Dark's influence is inspiring everyone else in Strong Style uh, Wrestling roster to improve their agility. Oh, wow. Dan Fever's been challenged to put someone over by the fourth week of June. I just did. Weekend Warrior's ESG score has proved after pretending to champion a fashionable cause where wherever it is safe and convenient to do so. Weekend Warriors has abandoned their quest for equality in any region where it would actually make any difference. Congratulations, Dan Fever. You followed my advice and made a prospect better than ever. That's true. I put him over on a pay-per-view. That's a good deal. That's a big deal. Please accept a thousand dollars. Thank you. Keep up the good work. <laughs> this guy looks like Kevin Owens. So, we've taken each other to hell and back, Fever, and I've had enough of it. Why don't we bury the hatchet so we can both get back on concentrating on our careers? Oh, that's fair. So I'm no longer feuding? Okay, let's make peace. I can't see us ever being friends, but <laughs> we can at least move on with our lives. Sure thing. <laughs> Jerry Buckler. Oh, I'm fighting Jerry Buckler again. Okay. It was a regular match. I'm not even going to improve my stuff. I'm just going to fight like this. All right. No dilly-dallying around. He took my song. And, Peeper, I'm surprised you even showed up for this match after a beating they gave you last time. That's true. He did give me a rather ravage, rav oh, savage, ravage beating. The result won't be any different tonight. You're as predictable as a book, but easier to put down. Huh, that's pretty good. You're in the right place to be, out there. There's your freaking guitar! Take this! Start your singing career. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come here. Come on. Really? I swear, jumping off stuff is just actually the worst. Like, there's no benefit to it. It does zero damage. Get out. Get out. Yet I must. Get thrown. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, he can't win. You're out. You're out. You are out. <laughs> Dan Fever wins. <laughs> he even tripped at the end. Woo! Go me. I'm the best. I will read this book that has a picture of Bret Hart on it. That's clearly Bret Hart. 100%. It says here, you could try to interact with any scenery by taunting nearby. Huh. Eh. Okay. In all the latest action of Strong Style Wrestling TV taping, Jerry Buckler was disqualified at minute 55. Hell yeah, I suffered terribly. My progress is still hindered. Hmm. Yeah, we went up a little bit. That's not bad. Slowly gaining money, gaining wealth. Obelisk has left All-American Wrestling to pursue a career in Wrestling Revolution. Amber Lance appears to have gained weight. The 35-year-old now is 297. I've come down with an illness and is in poor health this week. <gasps> oh, God. 
Is this just like a random tragedy that's gonna ruin the game for me? Anyways, free agent Gorilla Grundy has been released by Rising Sun Peresru and must now make ends meet in an independent circuit. Brad Goodman's glad that Gorilla Grundy has left Rising Sun Peresru. Ripper Ace and Charlie Grace has defeated Mike Shaw and Charlie Grace to become the new tag team champion of Maple Leaf Grappling. Federation on Lynn is poached Brad Basket from Weekend Warriors and Deal estimated to be worth a bunch of money. Uh, Emma Winner has renewed her contract with Weekend Warriors for 30 more weeks. Seabreeze has left wrestling school in strong style. Blonde Blunder has said Seabreeze has left wrestling school. Nice. You look like crap, Dan Fever. Why don't you take a day off to recuperate? Oh, that's exactly what I'm doing because I'm sick. Thank you. Thanks, I need a break. Don't worry, we can survive without you for a day, but you better make up for it when you come back. Sure will. Okay. Not doing anything, so I may as well just proceed. He's taking a sick day. That's nice. You don't, you don't see wrestlers take six days often, but I have enough of a float that I should be able to. The Needles has been released by Wrestling Revolution and now must make ends meet on the indies. Strong Style Wrestling's ratings has risen. Hey, since Frank Incense has become the world champion. That's good. Their mouth's agility has deteriorated. Then Fever Influence inspired everyone else in Strong Style Wrestling roster to improve their skill. Hmm. <gasps> but I lost one skill for that. <laughs> My association with Doug Turner has a negative effect on his skill. Freaking Doug. Wrestling School has crowned Kylie Barron as a new Koei champ. Mm. Miles Hershey and Bloody Lee have uh, defeated Grand Wishima and Oblivion to become the new group project champions of Wrestling School. Alright, well, looks like it's time. Perfect. <laughs> okay, Jerry Buckler again. Wow, talk about giving me the exact same one. When you gain wealth, remember that. Well, you know what it is. <laughs> Thank you, Jared. I'm glad you're here watching this. Listening to me talk into the void. I'm supposed to be out here cutting another promo. But screw that! I got something real to say. Not to you, but to the guy behind you. The truth is that Strong Star Wrestling is getting slaughtered in the ring by Sucha Lupa Libre. And you can blame Frank Incense for that. Everybody knows I should be the world champion. As for Bruiser Olay, as the future of the company, we all know that should be a television champion. I'm probably going to be fired for this, but I don't care. The important thing is, the truth is heard for once. Oh, the truth is the truth. I'm going to get fired for this. Wow, that was a mighty blow that he delivered to me. He just keeps playing music at me. Okay, you can have that. Damn you, open mic. Ah, so close. There we go. Now we should get some good moves here. Friggin' Tiger Driver or whatever. Tiger Bomb. I am the Tiger Bomber. Hey, you can't do that. That's cheating. I'm not allowed to take damage. Let me in. <laughs> Threw the punch and he just immediately reversed me. Wow. Taxable. Oh! Hey. Huh. I could just over the head throw him like that, eh?
That was a pretty nice move there. <laughs> Here we go. I'm still the face. <laughs> I am the face. Oh, no. There we go. Who's messing this guy up? Whoa! Hey, hey! Get back here! Break that leg. I have infinite skill. Come on. I'm the most skilled guy in this game. Why can I not get out of this? <laughs> Come on. Break me free. Come on. Are you kidding me? Like nothing? How long did I have to- oh my god. That wasn't even a stamina thing, like I just wouldn't break. It was just getting held forever, okay. Dan Fever profile suffered, who cares? I'm being hindered by this crappy place I'm in anyways. Jerry Buckler improved? Sure. He's getting put over, that's uh, the whole shtick. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh frick, I didn't even get an opportunity to read that. Okay. Free agent. Samantha Panther has been released by Wrestling Revolution. Now must make ends meet in Indies. Helix has left wrestling school and pursued a career on Federation Online. Online Poe identified Splinter as the toughest wrestler in Hollywood. Huh. Open challenge. Mystery opponent. Ooh. Here we go. Okay, since I don't know who it is, I'm not gonna risk it. Oh, I didn't check the rules. When you dominate the sport for as long as I have, you have invented new ways to keep things interesting. Ooh, this is interesting. That's why I'm issuing an open challenge to anybody back there who thinks they can take me by surprise. Who will it be? Huh, oh, that's a bit of a surprise. Anton Apex. Okay. Okay. Oh no, he started me. Hey, ref, get out of my way. Ooh. Don't like that crackling sound, that's not good. Eh? Eh? Wanna get kicked? Oh! Pull out. Pull out. Come on. How do I counter this? You go! Oh, come on. Get yanked out. Oh, my God. I'm just like dropping them. Like, oops. 
There we go, get tiger bombed. Savage him a bit. Get back in here. I'm not done with you. Stay down. Perfect. Just enough time. Woo! I am the victor. So in all the latest action from Strong Style Wrestling Pay-Per-View, Dan Fever pinned Anton Apex in Open Challenge at 2.12. Meow. Still being hindered. I always lose my thing. Agent Anton Apex's profile suffered. Good. Challenged me and lost. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, that's a good win. Dominator and Seabreeze have defeated Drew Durnham and Jacob Seen to become the new tag team champion of Strong Style. Bill Hershey has developed a heated rivalry with Major Merck and All American. Brandon Jones has defeated Emma Winner to become the new lightweight champion of Weekend Warrior. Lacey Spencer has left wrestling school to pursue a career in Super Lucha Libre. Cameron Cool has left wrestling school to pursue a career in Weekend Warriors. Huh. Angel Dust? Huh, that's Angel Dust, eh? First wrestling score, pin, submission, win. Is this a regular match? I'm kind of getting bored of this. So, who is it? Super Lucha Libre? Let's talk to Derek Switch off here. What do you want, Fever? This better be worth my time. I'm pretty popular. I'm being hindered by the place I'm in, but I wonder if I can go here. <laughs> can you forgive me? Oh, you look at this. You can see the spot, uh, their buffs and all that. Can I join you at... Oh, I'm going to ask him to forgive me first. No, no, no. Let's go to the Super Lucha Libre. Can I join Super Lucha Libre? I don't have what it takes to survive. I was already there. Can I talk to him again? <laughs> what do you want? I'm going to see if he can forgive me. Can you forgive me? I can't see us being friends, but at least we'll get on with our lives. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. Where else is good? Rising Sun. Iteration. I forget. Which, uh, oh wait. I want to see what, what the popularity is of the, uh, whole thing. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Let's just win this fight real fast. I'm gonna stay full life and I'll freaking devastate him. I'm gonna have to take this angel dust out. Devastate him up a bit. Pretty sweet. How am I at three? Oh, midnight. Just rolled in to roll back out.
how am I caught up to him? You know what? Get up. You're still getting freaking hit with a Canadian destroyer. Perfect. Wow, that was a minute 39. That was very quick. Hey! The walkery trails. Tr you like wrestling? You do? Hope you enjoy this. So, Dan Beaver's progress. I'm still being hindered by uh, strong style wrestling because it's just not good enough for me. Oh. Angel Duff's profile suffered after losing that match. Good. Call me Zach. I will. Unless. I'm doing a uh, Caligi on McDicky games. Oh! What's that? What's the challenge? Do tell. This is the only game of theirs I've ever tried, but I like it. We're running short on staff tonight, Diane Fever. Could you sit on commentary for the next match? Oh, I've never done commentary. Okay, I'll work as commentator. I've never done this. This is new. Thanks. You just saved the broadcast. Please accept an extra $2,300 for my time. Wow. Was there a 2D version of this game? Because there's a sign that says the 2D version was better. Amber Lance. Against me. Oh, Drew Durna with Jack Obscene. I'm not in this yet? Oh, I'm on commentary, of course. Dan Fever will be joining us on commentary to share his insights on the match. How do I how do I do this? You know what it's like to be in there, so how do you see this match ending? Hmm. I think it'll end by submission. I'm playing old McDicky games. If I get fired, I gotta go to the next updated wrestling McDicky game. Oh! Gotta make the same person. That's fun. That's actually fun. You heard of it here first, Prof. Oops. I think it's gonna be a submission. So we're actually just watching a real wrestling match. Wow, it's actually me commentating a wrestling match. So, looks like we have... Yeah, we have, uh... Drew Durham here with a suplex. Oh, wow. This camera's not great. So... Ray Mallet here. Coming in with a few punches. Freaking Jacob seems not a fan of that. Oh wait, Jacob seems out there. Who's who? Okay, there's a, a Grey Mallet. Is who's Grey Mallet? Drew Durnham is this guy, I think. I think this is Drew Durnham. And I guess Green Grey Mallet out there just picking up stuff, dropping it. You know, wasting time. Wait. Wait, is Grey Mallet the guy who's my other commentator? Jack Obscene, Grey Mallet, Jack Obscene, open mic, Grey Mallet, Jack Obscene. What? Who's who? Wait, I'm just me. Like, I'm still playing as me? What the hell? So I just have to position myself to be the better cameraman. <laughs> okay. Even though I'm commentating, I'm over here. We're looking at... Amber Lance. Ah, that's Amber Lance. Okay. I'm gonna listen to you while I play. Oh, that's fun. I hope you enjoy. I'll, I'm gonna try to be a commentator, because that's what I'm doing, actually. So, looks like Amber Lance is laying a few punches into, uh... Drew Durham here. Oh, that's not bad. Turn him around. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I love that, like, I still, like, got all my moves and stuff, even though I'm the, uh, the commentator. Okay. Well, well, something's happening here. I think this is gonna be a good time to pet this cat that's right here. <laughs> what a cat boy. I would pick him up and bring him here, but he's looking so sweet uh, sleeping. All right, so Jesus, I think we've seen enough of this. Let's just simulate this. Amber Lance won. 
Real winner tonight is you, Dan Fever. You predicted the match would end by submission. That's right. That's right. I did. I have you on my second screen, and the Twitch sound goes to the second screen. Ah, perfect. I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> Woo! Grab this. Yeah, I'm the commentator. <laughs> I commentate. Why did you lose the match? Okay. And all the latest action from Strong Style Wrestling TV taping. Amber Lance made Drew Durham submit a 958. Wow, that was a while, eh? Status is not affected. Amber Lance's profile's risen. After a compelling match. Jack Obscene is disappointed his client is lost. Second week. All right. Safari's left All American Wrestling to pursue a career in Strong Style. Hmm. Amber Lance has left Strong Style to pursue a career in Rising Sun. Martini skills deteriorated considerably, considerably in recent weeks. But after 10 hours of comfy sleep, I'm 100%. Crispin Noir is released from Rising Sun Perez Rue and must now make ends meet in the Indies. Maple Leaf Grappling has become more popular in recent weeks, up to 87. Wow. About the age of 41, Petrol has retired from Professor Wrestling to pursue a career and other ambitions. So, oh, there's another uh, pay-per-view in the fourth week. Oh, wait, it's been cancelled? That's not good. Okay, an online player has identified Armstrong as the strongest wrestler in the world. 95 strength, wow. Almost as good as Vito. So I got Vito Soprano to like 99 strength, which is pretty sweet. Greatest show on earth. Rising Sun Press has overtaken Super Lucha Libre to become the most popular brand of wrestling. 94, wow. Right? Have you heard of the wrestler called Lestat Macabre from Federation Online? Well, I think you could do his gimmick better, so how would you like to be our version of it? Oh my god, I get to be a vampire? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> looks like I'm already... Oh, it looks like the game is already chosen. Oh, also, look at this. I'm kind of lined up with the, with the game right now, aren't I? Huh? Eh? Wait. I go. Hello, I am the I am the the Polaroid, eh? Pretty good. All right, yes, I can. <laughs> I guess I can imitate Lestat Macab, considering I'm already dressed up and wearing the fangs. Great, Mitchell has done anything they can do, we can do better. Looks at me, I'm stealing gimmicks. That's how you know you've made it. Look at how cool. Oh, I'm fighting up like hardcore match against Sam Sarah. First wrestler to score pin, submission, falls count anywhere. Oh, anywhere. And there's no disqualifications. Ooh. Okay. I don't know how my skill deteriorated. There we go. Let us proceed. Hardcore barbed wire match. Wow. I am a vampire. You guys should all be scared of my spooky vampireness and my tight leather pants. Ooh, that would hurt to rub against this barbed wire. Samsara. So, uh, unbeknownst to you, but in the past, I've uh, injured Samsara. <laughs> And speaking of which, you should see my YouTube if you're interested in the, the rest of the game that I've been playing. When I get an opportunity, I'll pause, I'll, I'll send it. Look out, everybody, it's Dan Fever, the master of the DDT. Ah. Do you seriously think that a pathetic move like that would work against a warrior like me? Hey, this has already been done. This is like plagiarized. Huh. You should be worried because when I hit that DDT, the match is over. Oh, that's right. I have a new thing because I'm a vampire. My moveset's different. The match will be over when I hit you with my front power slam. Your entire career will be over. <laughs> yeah. There's no rules. Beat you up with the Ultimate Warrior poster as much as I feel. Man. This 
a pretty savage beating, honestly. I'm really laying right into this lady. Come on, get out. Oh, what happened there? She just kind of exploded out of my hands. Oh, how did she reverse me like that? Um, excuse me. Hey! You can't pin me in here. Oh, okay, I do. Hey, don't don't throw a hamburger at me, guy, and then puke on me. Yeah, I mean, I'll eat that hamburger. <laughs> I'm a vampire. <laughs> Actually, you know what's interesting? So Gangrel, who this guy is uh, uh, ripping off, was like a 90s kind of guy. I guess like maybe early 2000s. But I guess it was before the Twilight era. So what era of vampire was he? Right? Okay, and... Oh, you're dead. You're getting adrenaline. When the DDD comes out, crazy mofos like you get knocked out. Sorry, I'm having second talk about that finish, so the only fair thing is to restart the match. What do you mean? I hit him with my special. What do you have second thoughts about? That's... Are you kidding me, Money Mark? What are you, working for Samsara? Get over here. Why is a... How did you get that on fire? What the heck? Okay. So I clearly very, very, very handedly won. And then now... I have to fight again. Take that. And... Come on. Time to go to sleep. It's kind of, uh, this is kind of like backwards, but like, it's like I'm using a bell to put them to sleep instead of using a bell to wake them up. Okay. There, yeah. oh, oh. What is that, is that a glass pipe over there? Oh, wow, you launched me, lady. Okay. Into the crowd. What is this? The Irish fl Interesting. They have... So, they have words on one side, and then on the other side, they have... Okay. I'm gonna build up... Here. I'm gonna cast a spell on them. I love this game. Gangrel was an ECW original. That's right, he was. He was one of the Blackhearts, and he was even... He, in WCW, he was. Yeah, that's right. And then he became Gangrel in WWE. Because I vaguely remember he joined Christian Cage and um, Edge, right? As their manager, I want to say. All right? Anywho, I'm stealing his gimmick now. So, game from 2002, but older games have problems, so I'm going to do... First wrestling 3D game in 2008 called Wrestling Empire. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that there was other ones. Well, I see the signs in the background that's like, oh, the 2D version was better or whatever, but I thought those were just jokes. Also, Scarlet fan. I'm a freaking Scarlet fan of yours. Man, for knowing the encyclopedic knowledge about wrestling. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I am shoot happy to see that. Hey, I'm Gangrel. Come to me, feed. I'm a vampire, you see. Gangrel was married to Luna Vachon, so say the freaking dark side of the ring. Yep, and when he was in ECW, he was with Luna Vachon. I was just saying that. 
That's so funny. I just said that as you mentioned it. <laughs> Come here. Eh. Who's, do you know who Sam Sarah is supposed to be? Because I'm Dan Fever originally, but I'm stealing the gimmick of Gangrel right now. Which is actually the gimmick of uh, something macabre. Lestat macabre. Here we go. Tombstone. Boop. Glowed a little bit. I am a vampire, you see. There's nothing you can do to do anything against me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm straight up just flipping her off. What am I, Austin 316? Nice. That didn't work. You're only gonna do 3D games. Ah. I like this game quite a bit, though. Initially, when I first played it, I was like, what's with the freaking X or the, the freaking... Nintendo 64 graphics, but I don't even see the graphics anymore. Like, it just seems like actually wrestling. Ooh! Quite good. Come here. Get grabbed by me. Nope, don't. Ah, uh, maybe I do want to fight on that table. Okay, here, I'm gonna set this up. I love that the table just comes back together, like, perfectly. The grains are all aligned. Everything's, like, beautiful. Hey. Where you give me that? Come here. Oh, the ref is screwing me? Come on. Could I roll more? Here we go. Hey, hey. So, like, this is the first map match I'm playing as Gangrel because, like, the game just asked me to steal his gimmick, so I'm still figuring out what his movesets are. Because I had the Tiger Bomb for a while, right? What was that? Just freaking jump backwards? Okay. Eh. Getting splashed, rolling around in the barbed wire. This isn't good. Too bad this wasn't an exploding barbed wire deathmatch. Now that would be a match. <laughs> so I don't know if any of you guys are watching contemporary wrestling. Well, in the last few years, anywho. But there was a match a few years back that was like a pay-per-view match. And the, the real hype build-up about it was called the exploding barbed wire deathmatch. Where the, uh, the sides were like barbed wire like this. But the ring was also set to explode. So it was supposed to be a big deal. But when, when it actually happened... <laughs> um... When it actually happened, the, the fireworks were more like uh, sprinklers, and it did like no damage, or like it was like really pathetic, but yeah. Fighting with a flaming stick. So, this is a, this is a pretty intense fa uh, fight right now. Ah, my knee. Why is everything on fire all of a sudden? Oh, and then suddenly unfired. I gotta beat him up with my actual hands to get the uh, adrenaline, or else it won't work, eh? Trading freaking submissions, come on. Okay. Hit. Oh, on the concrete? Yikes. Kind of reminds me, there's this famous uh, video of um, Jake the Snake doing a DDT to Ricky Steamboat on a freaking concrete and it messed his face up. Oh. Insane. Yeah, get down from there. 
Oof. And that's a sitted one. That was the one that um, Owen Hart did to uh, <laughs> Stone Cold and broke his neck. Yeah. It's a wealth of wrestling knowledge. Okay. I don't know what happened. Like, wrestling's a freaking good time. Oh, here we go. Okay. And then you stay down. Hey, ref, how about you do your job? What's Michael... What's Michael Jordan doing in the crowd here? <laughs> right? From, like... Like, NBA 96 game. <laughs> Anywho, I'm sorry I missed a bunch of things. So. Mickey... McDicky has a 2D games. Oh! I'm only gonna do the 3D games. I see. I have this on my Switch. Nice. But the one your play against was named Krama, and he was in TNA as Awesome Kong. Oh! I've had this game for about a month, but Landstorm and Bad News Brown are dead in the game so far. Oh, man. So... I have a few dead so far. Uh, I wish I could catch you up real fast, but there's a lot of details that I've missed. I think you're talking about an old Saturday Night Main Event game. Ah, maybe. That, that, that could be the case. Saturday Night Main Event. Damn, that is old. Friggin'. So, or that would be like Hulk Hogan era, before the Attitude Era, for sure. So in all the latest from Strong Style Wrestling, TV taping, Dan Fever pinned Sam Sarah into barbed wire, hardcore death... Well, it's not even a death match, it's a hardcore match. Eleven, exactly. Wow. Sam Sarah profiled itself considerably good. Mine hindered. I need to go to another promotion, but every time I talk to them, it doesn't. They don't want me. <laughs> Things I want though is this sweet, sweet carbonated ginger ale. Pop for the counter into a full mount. Yeah. These guys always go together. Matt Hardy and freaking Kevin Owens. Do you think you can teach me how to pull it off? Yes, sir. I can. So, um, in this game, a few people have died. Thanks for sharing your knowledge, Dan. I hope you can return favor sometime. So, Christian Cage is dead, because I killed him. Uh, Vito Soprano, who was Dino Bravo, is dead. Um, Paul Heyman is dead. He died last stream. So, if you go to my YouTube, oh, uh, you can see all the playlist of all these things, and you can actually see when Vito died and all of them. Bruiser Ole has turned heel, and he will be an portrayed villain. Ellie Knott's agility is deteriorating considerably. Isn't she just the owner? Muscle appears to have lost weight. 34 year old is 197. Mm. Rising Sub Rescue Profiles risen to 95, putting Brad Goodman on the cover of their 2026 game. Mm. Federation Online friend Tommy Tanaka and Roadhog. Roadhog as their new tag team champion. That sounds like a real wrestler, Roadhog. Oh, Road Dog. Mm. I guess. Nate Madison has left wrestling school to pursue a career in strong style. Gorilla Grundy has left right school to pursue a career in Federation. Oh, and I'm on the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> we make a pretty good team, Dan Fever. How would you like to join and make it a regular thing? Yes, I would, Joe Rogan. It's easy to get lost in the shuffle on your own, but we could make a much bigger impact together. Hmm. Yes, let's. I'm glad to share your vision, Dan. This could be the start of something big. Oh, no show. That means I can get my, all my stuff up. Except that it's like a mini game. <gasps> no, my skill's down still. Oh, luckily I have no show today, so let us proceed. Luckily, I have $100,000 to sit on. Oh, wow, yeah. It really gets good when you change all the names or start customizing the edits. This game's great once you get going. Yeah, I'm having a good time. So, they made me change my name to Ollie Martins, but I changed back. So, Ken Ryu has left Rising Sun for... How do you say this? Because I always say Peresaru? Pero... Res... Pero... Resu. I, I, I can never say it fast. Then. Right. Pero... Pro Resu. Rising Sun Pro Resu. Right? <laughs> to pursue a career in, uh, at Wrestling Revolution, Bill Graves has defeated Stunner Stew to become the new Universal Champion of Federation Online. 
where your awesome has defeated Silk Siren to, de <laughs> to become the new Intercontinental Champion of Federation Online. So, Rory Awesome on the right beat Silk Siren, that lady. Uh, Harry Harris has left Federation Online to pursue a career in wrestling revolution. Hmm. Oh, lack of exposure. That's not good. Strong Star Wrestling's ratings are up because of me, not because of Frank Incense is the champion. That's it? Okay. Wow, I still have no exposure, eh? I have to keep... Ah, I lost my skill again. Well, another week goes by with no exposure. <laughs> Why'd they do this? They made me become Gangrel and then they stopped, they, they sat me? So, Keith Dubak's associate with Dan Fever has a negative effect on his agility. Oh, whoa, weird. Open Mike has left Strong Star Wrestling. He was, you know, to pursue a career in Rising Sun. Pro Resu. Pro Resu. Speaking of which, there was Lance Storm. Oh, Lance Storm. Wait. Which was Lance Storm? Android has developed friendship with Lance Mon Monaco. Oh, interesting. So Android, I want to say, is China? I think? And Lance Monaco looks like Vince McMahon, I guess. <laughs> the Super Lucha Libre has overtaken Rising Sun Perresu. See, I always call Perresu. <laughs> I don't know. To become the most popular brand of wrestling with 94. Another day of nothing. Wow. Another day of just amping up my skill rating. Really? It didn't go up at all? This is the longest break I've had forever, huh? Obelisk has left Wrestling Revolution to pursue career in Super Lucha Libre. Sam Sarah's developed a heated rivalry with Score Ben, Weekend Warriors. Oh, Scott Lance appeared to lost weight, and the 26 year old is now 293. <laughs> Trim. Federation Online has overtaken Super Lucha Libre to become the. Oh, whoa, whoa, look at this. They're going back and forth 95%. Another no show. Okay. Come on. Why? Why won't you go? Okay, good. Phew! Speak oh, he was talking to you at the desk, and the girl next to Vince is- Oh, it's Ronda Rousey. See, those were the two. I thought it was either China or Ronda Rousey, but I was just like, it looks too big to be Ronda, right? Alright, let's proceed. But it's hard to tell. She looks bulkier, so that's why I was like, maybe China? Alright, so Kim Storm has defeated Lola to become the new lightweight champion of Strong Style Wrestling. Scotland has renewed his contract with Strong Style to remain in roster for 37 weeks. Man, <laughs> Scotland, I love that. Ronda Rosie? <laughs> A big laugh. So Dan Fever suffered. Lack of exposure, yeah. Rising Sun, Per Ro Re Su, have challenged Strong Style. Oh, an interpromotional. Here we go. China is in the game <laughs> with X Pac? Really? No freaking way. That's so funny. Oh, a tag team match versus Sam Sarah. Here we go. What are the rules? First team score pin, stay in the ring, more weapons. Okay, so this is a regular match. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna keep like half so I can keep fighting. Okay. Yeah, it's fun when I'm playing to figure or think who it is. So Denade Dark is definitely D'Lo Brown, right? I'm not sure who Sam Sarah is. Oh wait, you said it was um Awesome Calm or something. Dan Fever is well, I'm Gangrel. I don't know who Dan Fever originally is. And Tommy Hawk looks. I'm not sure who Tommy Hawk is. For some reason, I wanted to say Damian Priest, but I don't think it is. I'm back. Oh, oh my god. I hate to be that guy to plug his stuff, but I'm that guy. <laughs> so, Tommy Hawk and I have joined forces to become even greater than the sum of our parts. 
all of the other teams in uh, Strong Style Wrestling, better watch out because we just raised the bar. I'm doing a 2011 game prior remake. Oh, that's right. But I can speak louder than words. So let's show these people what we're about. Who is Sam Sarah? Hey, you can't both be beating me up right now. Don't worry, I'll beat myself up. Oh, I hit him with a low below. Nice. Did it quick. Ooh. Just trying to throw him out of the ring so I can, you know, beat them up. Hey, ref, keep Sam Sarah out of the ring. Eh. Right. Taunt a little bit. Stop, 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 stop. <gasps> Bam. There we go. Get out of here. Don't come near me. I'll hit you with a crane kick. hey -ya! Come on. All right, come here. Come here. There's no more crane kicks. I promise I won't crank kick you. Damn, I lied. Okay, come on. Damn it. He countered my several crank kicks. Ooh. Jesus, everyone's just fighting on top of me. This is not a prime location to... Uh... He's not even fighting me, really. Oh, I was targeting the wrong one. Eh. Okay. Eh. Okay, I'm getting beat up. I'm gonna try to tag in this guy. Alright, let's go, Tommy Hawk. Pro Skater 1. What do, what do I have? Another tombstone? Power bomb? No, just tombstone. Okay. What is my guy doing? Just walking around. Okay. Let's do some... They never work. I'm telling you. Never, ever, ever. I never get the turnbuckles to do good. Hey, Sam Sarah. How about you get out of here? With your cheating? How is she doing? She gets a free power bomb? Come on. The ref is just talking. Yeah, come here. Yeah. Eh, have to fix this. Wonder if I can kill her. So Vito Soprano died in the ring by just wrestling after being injured. So Sam Sarah's injured, maybe. Hey, that was nice. I love that I tanked my guy in too. That's great. Oh, she's getting cut up. Getting beat up on top of this freaking uh, ladder. How, how am I counted out more? Hey, wait, no, I want, I want to tag. Well, there we go. I have won. Let's do some death-defying stuff. Nice. That was sweet.
Sam Sarah's dead, and then it's just the other guy. Oh, I hit my guy? Okay, I got adrenaline though. That should be that. One, two, three. Easy peasy. Have you done the subway yet? Easy way to get rid of your companion. Oh, no, I haven't. Yeah. Dan Fever. So, in all the latest action from Songstar Wrestling's TV taping, Dan Fever and Tommy Hawk has won this tag team match at 513. Tommy Hawk's profile improved. Nice. Mine, still hindered. Then now Dark suffered. Good. Sam Sarah suffered. Good. <laughs> I have not done the subway, but I'm interested. Ooh, we're rising, rising or strong style. Fourth week of August. So all American wrestling profiles risen to 80%, putting Gold Boulder on the cover of their 2026. 20, I love Gold Boulder. That's Goldberg for sure. Becky Lane. Is that Becky Lynch? Left all American wrestling to pursue a career in Weekend Warriors? Butter Monk. Not too sure. And High Yakuza defeated Ryo Hama and Tan. Ihachi to become the new tag team champion of Rising Sun, Pro Resu. An online poll has identified Uranus as the highest paid wrestler in the world. Wow, he's the highest paid? Dan Fever, have you ever considered adding new moves to your repertoire? I have. Sure, I'll learn new moves. Good, it's important of wrestler to evolve. I look forward to seeing your new finisher. Hmm, I wonder what my new finisher is. It was a DDT, now what is it? Changing your finisher move to the side slam means you're finished. Oh. Who did I steal from? Gowan, the singing Canadian guy who made the song freaking You're a Strange Animal. So eight, eight tag team team match versus Mother Forkers team. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna keep all my stamina. I'm just gonna fight this. You have to roam. Oh, I should. You're right. Why didn't I read before I saw this? <laughs> so Mutox is team. With Anton Chinoki. Oh, whoa, this must be from what? New Japan? Oh, Rising Sun? Okay. Against me. Dan Fever's team. Okay, so who is it? It's me, my boss, Tommy Hawk, and freaking Brian Danielson. The American Dragon. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the inter promotional contest. Oh, who is this? On one side, we'll have the strong style team, which is me. Let me give him a quick hug here. Shake your hand. <laughs> and on the other side, we have the Rising Sun Pereseru or Pereseru team. Hmm. I'm Cathedral of Wrestling School, and I'm here to be an impartial referee. <laughs> Just hugging. Hugging people. I know the stakes are high, but let's keep this fair contest to find out which promotion's best. And friendly. Okay. I'm fighting which guy? Mutox? Why is the camera so bad right now? Am I fighting Bud Hardly? Okay. Hardcore Holly. They keep changing guys. I don't know which guy I'm fighting. You, you're the one I'm fighting. Whoa, huh, good throw, okay. Nice, Dragon Ryan, let's go. Hell yeah. Hitting people with a glass pipe is totally sweet. Whoa! I didn't know I could do that. Ah, Dragon Ryan has some good stuff. <laughs> Take this, Abdullah the Butcher. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, whoa! I countered Tommy Hawk as he fell on me. That was crazy. Even though he's on my team, but still. Who saw you on drink, right? You're hurting me more than them. Well, freaking get out of the way, guy. Jeez Louise. I'm sorry, it was an accident. Mid-fight. All right, I'll make sure it never happens again. Otherwise, I'll have to get give you a receipt. I'm sorry, Tommy Hawk. Dragon Ryden's quite agile. Can I get him through the table? Hey. Oh, we're both up here. Look at this. The yes movement. Oh, what? I knocked me down? Come here. Come here. I'm just gonna hold you for a bit. Nope. Through the table. Oh, I am the table. Huh? Wrestle, wrestle Lamia. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Okay. Mutox. Who is Mutox? I'm not sure who he's supposed to be. Ooh, he countered me, though. Come yeah, on. Nice, got a good little boot there. Oh no. Wait, mute. Oh, Muda. Yeah, very Japan. Hey, hey, oh. I'm getting beat up here. Hey, get that chicken out of here. What are you doing, game? I'm just holding a tombstone for a second. Jeez Louise. No, not quite. Oh. Good hit there. Ooh, hell yeah, that was sweet. Let's see if I can do that again. Oh, oh, he countered me though. Frank, that was sweet though. Go up, uh, Muda, let go of me. Man, I see. Why am I not countering this? Chair in the way. Haha. <laughs> Another disqualification for Dragon Ryan. So. Oh. But hardly get out of here. Hardcore Holly. Dragon Ryan's quite good. I like this. I wonder. My guy has huge skill. I wonder if my guy could do that. Like jump off the ropes and stuff. Interesting, okay. I'm gonna try that out. Come on. Give me a tag. Tag me. Why won't you let me tag you? Oh, God! Come on, Dragon Ryan. You're doing very good. Nice. 
Okay, fine. There you go. Strangle him a bit. Lock it in. So, I was watching the, the WrestleMania, like, live or whatever, and, like, um, there was something interesting I saw in the tag team match on the day one, was, um, they had, like, a little rope they held onto, so they had to stay in their corner so they couldn't move around. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Because, uh, who I was watching which mentioned it, and they were saying, like, oh, I wonder if that's, like, a new rule for, um, tag team matches so they can't, like, walk around too much. Nice. So it's just Bud Hardly, eh? More like Bud Hardly gonna be an issue. <laughs> so an interesting thing about Hardcore Holly is apparently he uh, was quite stiff, meaning he would actually hit people and stuff. Wait. No one's here. My guy's just tumbling over by himself. But uh, apparently the ref... Apparently he was quite mean. Throw him out, grab him back in, give him a few kicks. Just dancing. Just dancing all over him. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, my adrenaline's almost up, so I can do my cool, sweet move or whatever it is. It's weird, doing like this kicks and stuff seems to get my adrenaline up faster than like doing like power moves or whatever. Oh, whoa! That was sweet on his part. He did throw me around. I'm just out. I'm just out of it now. They have to hold it so they can get tagged in. Yeah, see? They don't hold on to the rope, they have high five, it doesn't count as a tag. Yeah, see? I think that's a new thing though, right? Like, cause I don't remember ropes being there before. Yeah. Rule. I don't remember that though. That, that, that's weird, I don't know. I don't know, I, would, I do remember them being like tagged in, right? But like, I don't remember them being a rope there. That seems like a bull rope match or something, you know, like a like a stipulation rule, but not just for like every tag team match. I kicked me. <laughs> I kicked me. Come here. Tombstone on a tombstone. <laughs> well, that was actually Tombstone on a chicken, but whatever. Pretty close. Ooh, come here. Oh, don't grab me. Hmm, Hardcore Holly's ha being a lot tougher than I anticipated. The strings you call it is a tag rope. It's actually a long-standing rule. Huh! So this is, act this is actually really interesting you're bringing this up because then I can actually bring this up with my pal because we were talking about this. So it's a long... Ah. Oh, I wanted to one-winged angel him. We're getting uh, Kenny Omega style, right? But it's a long landing rule. In order to take to be official, the other side of the road needs to be the corner. Huh. No longer than said rope. That makes see that's a make it makes sense. But like I just don't recall it ever before seeing it recently. I think Vince phased the ropes out for a bit. Oh, that makes sense. But with um I guess now that it's the Triple H era, right? 
I don't know. Are you guys caught up with wrestling for the most part? I'm a little bit caught up, but not as like uh, like I like I saw WrestleMania, and I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but it was pretty good. Wrestling's a good time. I don't know. For a long time, I was out of wrestling, but then like I kind of got back in the last few years because one of my pals, and uh, freaking I love it. It's a good time. Adrenaline! Here we go. What's my move? Just a stunner? Okay. And then relax. Hey! Strong style wrestling wins. Yeah! Uh, I, I love that I just shook that person's hand. <laughs> Very restrained. I am happy. So in all the latest action from any promotional contest, Strong Style Wrestling won an eight-man tag team elimination. Hell yeah. Tommy Hawk has raised their profile. Beautiful, I think they should. Ellie Knott's his profile improved, but being associated with the winners. Dan Fever's upset he was barely involved in that match. Well, I was low. Dragon Ride profile improved. Yeah, Dragon Ride was sweet. New Talk suffered, good. Master Chrome's profile suffered, good. Motherforker. The damaged reputation of Rising Sun by failing to win that. Wow, he took the blow, eh? Pretty much been changed a lot of stuff. I grew up in the 80s era, so I've seen a bit. Oh, yeah. So you were like in the golden era, eh? You got to enjoy seeing Undertaker the whole time. <laughs> so Undertaker's interesting in the sense that he's a golden era gimmick that went through the Attitude Era and everything, right? So it's, it's interesting. But yeah, the 80s. So you're freaking Hulkamania, freaking getting fired up. Seeing the... 2004 era? Oh. The 2004 era, was that when he was like the American, uh, was that the biker era? Or Undertaker? There's so many gimmicks. <laughs> Man. Wrestling's a good time. Did you guys watch the, the, um, Wrestlemania? I see you had quite uh, fun out there, Fever, but you made quite a mess of the arena. Oh, I alone made the mess. <laughs> if we ever want to be back at the venue again, you better pay 300 bucks towards that. 300 bucks is so little. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fine. Here's 300 bucks. I said coolly and vampire-like. Thanks. This should help clear things up. Please try to tone down the carnage in the future. First week of September, 2026. The future. Aftershock and or Earthquake or Typhoon. <laughs> All American Wrestling has stripped Heavy Rain of the... Heavy Rain, that's sweet. Of the tag team titles due to being unable to defend it. That's great. This is like literally the natural disasters. <laughs> so, Persian Thug. <laughs> All American Wrestling has crowned Persian Thug and Ultra Bowl as their new tag team champion. Hell yeah. I don't know who Ultra Bowl is, but Persian Thug, come on. Beaumont has defeated Ashley Boss to become the new heavyweight champion of Weekend Warriors. Slapped on his left wrestling school to pursue a career in Rising Sun, Puro Re Re Su. We won the- <laughs> We won that match thanks to me, Fever. Never forget that. Meh, see? You did nothing. Actually did nothing. We're supposed to be a team, Dan, but nobody would know it at the look of us. That's right. I look like a vampire and you look like a, uh, Native American. <laughs> Why don't we wear the same costume as me so we can present more United Front? You know what? I think I will. <laughs> Alright, I'll dress like you. Even though I'm doing the Gangrel gimmick still. I'm glad you agree. People will take us more seriously as a team if we look like one. When did we become a team? A lot is, a lot is happening here. <laughs> oh, look at me. Heel cage singles, fence, the now dark. Oh. Pin submission. So it's a cage match. They only count inside the ring. Okay. If this is a cage, does that have my stamina matter? Hmm. Yeah. He's in this game, but it's in his NWA. Oh, okay. Or Callus. Ah, I see. Alright, I'm gonna have one more match here. And then I think I'm gonna call her for tonight. Cause it's quite late. It's already mid oh, midnight. Wow. It's quite late. 
but I'll do this. Steel cage time. So, look who it is. Freaking. Oh, why can I not? Why can't I remember his name? The now dark right now. Oh, it's totally eluding my mind. I said it earlier today. He is. Why can't I not remember his name? Shucks. His real life name. He's um. He's the guy who broke the neck of draws. Right. I keep wanting to say Devon Dudley, but I know that's wrong. Dan Fever with Tommy Hawk. Woo! Hello, friend. <laughs> Shake his hand. Eh. I'm in. <laughs> you should be okay. I'd grab a weapon before you get in the cage if you can. Oh, frick, I should've. Be a champion of Federation Online, but that doesn't mean anything, strong style wrestling. The only thing that matters here is that I don't see anything special about you. Ooh, I wanted to see if I can jump off of things. Because I have high skill, right? So can I? Am I able to... Oh, okay. Getting messed up. How did I... How did I as Dragon Ryan do it? Oh. Hey, get off of me. Just throw him. Just throwing him. Okay, come here. Ooh. Hey, let go of me, guy. How did he do that? How did how did he do the jumps off the ropes? And why can I not do the jumps off the rope right now? D'Lo Brown, that's it. Thank you, thank you. Oh, it's such a joy that you're here to allow me to. Oh wow, D'Lo, D'Lo, freaking flipping me all over the place. That was sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> D now dark, D low brown. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Jam on. Ooh, that was a good punch. Counteract this game. Two, three. Really? <laughs> okay, I didn't expect uh, to win that like that. I am the best. Yeah! Winner. <laughs> it depends on the move that you have for sign being took part in. It looks at. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So. All the latest action on Strong Star Wrestling. Uh, I, I pinned him in, in a steel cage match for 223. That's pretty quick. <gasps> the skin went, skill went down, though. That favorite progress is being hindered. Yeah. Suffered. Good. Denow Dark ding him. Hell yeah. Oh, Tony Khan. Beating Bud Hardly again doesn't mean anything. You need a wider variety of opponents, Dan Fever. That was... That wasn't Bud Hardly. Grudge hmm. match. Nico Moron has developed a heated rival with Martini. Oh. Tug Jefferson is left for Isaac Sunfresh, Super Sucre, and All-American. Cowboy Colt has defeated Mr. Benjamin to become a new television champ at Maple Leaf. Hmm. Oh, a confrontation. Opponents can be defeated by submission or stoppages. Fall counts anywhere and there's no disqualifications. Ellie Knotts, that's the leader of the promotion. Wow. But I think, for the sake of time, that I should wrap it up here for today.
But if you enjoyed this, all the stuff will be on YouTube and you can see all the other stuff I played and look at this. I don't know, one of the, I, I put it on a playlist, so if you actually do want to see only wrestling stuff, you can check it out. Yeah? And if not, whatever. I enjoyed you being here for now. And actually, it gave me some good insights. But alas. Disqualification, why not knockout? I think, uh, I think that counts as one of them. But uh, have a good night, guys. I will see you tomorrow for more whatever game. I'm not sure which game I'll play. Something else. We'll cycle through games. Maybe that piglet. That, that, that looks like a fun one. Then you. Thank you all for being here. Good night. Good evening. Get, re get well rested.